Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. In the last part, I did one mission. In this part, I'm actually planning to get all the hidden packages. And uh, I already got one, so... Well, that was in the previous part. In this part, it's going to get this hidden package. Now, I'm, I'm not going to show all of them on screen. Or No, I am going to show all of them on screen. What am I talking about? But I'm not going to commentate all of them on screen, and I'm not going to make... Uh, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> do these all really, really clean in one part, no editing, because that would take freaking forever, and I would be lying if I said I wasn't using a guide. So me having to stop every 10 seconds to check where the next one is, yeah, that would take forever. So prepare for a great deal of editing, fast forward, and wow, I'm surprised I didn't hit the resident hit that cop there. But yeah. So anyway, prepare for fast forward after this little. Storm the White House with his friends and become president of the United States. Yep. All right. Anyway, time for fast forward. Ah! Asshole train! Stop me from getting back on the tracks. Oh, by the way, on this hidden package is a flamethrower. Lovely. What everyone wants with their giant bag of cocaine. <laughs> Small jumps. Yeah. Doing that, yeah, totally would slip. Oh, by the way, just a little thing. If you time a jump, pressing the jump button right after falling, you'll actually kind of cancel it. It's actually really cool just to get a little bit of optimization. So anyway, next hidden package is in that car show thing. It also has... I I'm not sure if it is the best car in the game, but it seems like it. It seems to have, like, the best combination of, like, really good handling, really good speed. So it's all... Gotta unlock it. Oh my god, I still didn't get it. Crap. For fuck's sake. Carlos fails at breaking glass and getting cars. But anyway, yeah, this little number, the Banshee. Car that you actually saw in the opening scene, too. Oh my god, and I just wrecked it by trying to go through a fence. Yeah, this is during that era of gaming when fences were absolutely indestructible. We still haven't gone from the... But the thing is, we're still in the other... Uh, Oh my god! See what I mean? Completely indestructible. Unfortunately, we haven't also left the era of when trees are indestructible. That's still going on. Ah, okay, for every 10 in packages we get something. And in this case, it's a pistol. Pistol is delivered to our hideout. Oh, by the way, like, you um, probably at this format you can see and read that okay. Uh, on a blurry TV, yeah, there's a point later on where that costs, where that costs me so much goddamn time. But I'll leave that for when it happens. Ah, jeez, okay, now here's two that are in a bit of an iffy location because now I have to jump over this, so hopefully I can make it. Yes! Alright, so, yeah, that's the thing about one of these, because one of these is right on the roof of Luigi's place. Yep. And the other is right across this jumpway. And there you go. But that's a bit of a small danger because if I have to start a mission, then I have to do that and then continue the fit. 
Or I could just deliberately fail and then just continue doing it. Or hell, maybe I could just uh, keep searching for the packages in spite of the fact that I'm supposed to be doing uh, doing a mission. Some of these missions don't have time limits. They just have like, don't let this person die or don't uh, let yourself get killed. Package 20, we actually get the Uzi, which is something I have in my hand. I just happened to found it, find it at the... By, get over the damn rail. I just happened to find it by one of the... By one of the hidden packages. But anyway, how to get to the... From up here to the next package? Aloop! Fall damage in this and Vice City is incredibly forgiving. San Andreas is where they actually do have terminal fall damage. Uh, where the fuck is the... Oh, it's over there. Wait, no it isn't. Shit, where is it? Uh, but yeah, uh, San Andreas is where they have terminal fall damage. Uh, I think it's because there's very few ways of actually, like, relief releasing yourself from high positions in this game. Vice City, there's multiple ways of doing it, but <laughs> you still don't take that much damage. Yeah, uh, yeah, most, uh, most of these other hidden packages don't involve getting shot. But then again, this is supposed to, this, well, you'll figure out the significance of this later on, due to story, mo uh, story, uh, missions. But yeah, the way to get in here, actually, no, if you have, even if you have this, they'll start shooting at you, but they'll let you in if you have one of those, uh, belly-up seafood uh, vans. Ah, okay, so for package 30, we get grenades. A bit unwieldy weapon, but certainly useful, especially in one particular chapter. Fuck. God damn it. Shit. Okay. Well, I tried to go for the last hidden package. Well, in this area, anyway. And, yep, got myself killed. And you cannot skip the health tutorial. Basically, anytime you're wasted, you come here, go to full health, you pay the hospital staff, they take away all your weapons. Yep. Oh, yeah, and this... Oh, yeah, the hospital is where you can always get healing... Uh, done. Just... Come here. I'm su surprisingly, I don't think it actually costs anything most of the time. He took my car. Now, 
Now, I'm sure what a lot of you are saying is, Carlos, how can you get all the hidden packages? You have to go through, you have to unlock the other islands, as due to the bombing earlier, uh, you, couldn't, you can't actually cross the bridge. Well, you have little faith. You have to be able to praise the gods and then put the, your fate in their hands. But you also need a functioning car. Okay, now that I'm back here, you have to be willing to put your fate in the hands of the gods and know that if you are willing to show your faith, that they will let you to the promised land across the pond. Now, gather all the faith you have, gather all the negativity and then cast it away and put, their, put your fate into their hand, drop out, and suddenly you will see a world that was once completely invisible to you. These barriers, they seem as if they're real. And when you go against them, they seem that way. But you have to know that it's just something for you to overcome. And you may not see anything at first, but eventually, if you keep faith, the road will become evident. Ah, uh, and now you see all. You've reached Nirvana. You have reached true enlightenment and are in a place few others can say they are. He's like, sure, you may not you may not see yourself completely, but you can see everything else completely. And once again, because at this point you have to have put your faith completely into the gods, know that they will not let you die. And so they let you to the promised land, taking a slight bit of damage, but it isn't, but it isn't intended to kill you. It's just intended so that you would feel the pain to know that you are alive. And that is wonderful. So anyway, back to the hidden pack. Package 40, we get shotgun delivered to our hideout. Shotgun is actually really nice in this game. It has a really cool kick to it. You never really get a good shot tag or good time to ever actually see the bridge. So yeah, it's actually modeled out. It's kind of cool to see the bridge all broken up. Although I'm fairly certain with wind, there should be a lot more movement. For the halfway mark, we get body armor, which is actually one of the best ones possible to get here, because, like, 
Okay, well, maybe it's because of my aim is probably going to be crap for the new interface, but I predict probably the armor is going to be the most helpful. Strangely, you'd think this would actually be one of the earliest ones we get, but a Molotov Cocktail is the next upgrade after Body Armor. The lowest tech one is somehow one of the higher echelon ones. Weird. Okay, I've gotten all of the hidden packages that I can so far, so now I'm going to start going for the uh, a bit more tricky ones to get. For example, I'm sure you noticed that I, or I'm sure like the more uh, observant of you noticed that I didn't get a very specific hidden package in, <clears throat> in in the first island and that's because it's only accessible via trains let's see if I can get this shit wrong way oh perfect music too whoops turns out I was going the wrong way to get the <laughs> to get the um to get the the last hidden package I need. Well, not the last hidden package. Last hidden package on that island, I should say. Well, technically not. Oh, hey, trains. Because I technically missed two on that island. One which was only accessible by boat. That's actually the last one I will get. And another, which is only accessible if you can go into the train yard. The thing is, or into the under under the uh whoa fuck 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 well this is gonna take longer now yeah the thing is you can only go into the underground uh once you've unlocked the second island and then otherwise i'll just like you're just not allowed in and the thing is the hidden package that's in the subway is at um is not and uh, anywhere that deep it's just like you have to be able to enter the subway entrance to be able to get it you wouldn't be able to to like board the train but <clears throat> if you could get into the station that's where the hidden package is oh hey I guess that's how you know you're here but anyway now I'm actually at the fucking island and wow oh yeah I forgot that the station was actually is actually right next to um, the place to start or got your first missions in anyway here it is all that way for one hidden package and uh, you can see uh, I think it's actually I probably should have just gone in while I was over there yeah here's why I can't come in it, all it is is just barred off and as you can as you saw down there like the train is still operating in fact I'm hoping I can still take the train. I actually don't know this for sure. But hopefully I can take the train 
because I don't want to fucking run that whole damn way. Sweet. They give you ample time to make sure you didn't come down here by mistake. But you know what they don't give you ample time to do? Cancel out of it, or like, uh, cancel the cutscene. You have to actually watch the train go. I think the, the train is like... It's as fast as an average car, but like... For example, I had my Banshee when I was trying to go through here. I'm fairly certain if I was going up against a train, I would not have, or I would have definitely stayed ahead of him the whole time. Whew, but this is a lot less stressful. I can just relax and contemplate my next move. My next move is actually probably not taking the train. What I'm going to actually do instead is uh, take, like, a freeway pass. It's, it's an underground car passageway um it's supposed to still be blocked but i take it that once you unlock the middle island that's when you're supposed uh that's when like the restrictions are removed so anyway i'm back on staunton island which i believe is the middle island staunton at no point is the train supposed to be restricted so they just let you on anyway. Yeah, cause like, uh, for for a second I was like, wait, did I accidentally go to the, to the to the other island? But then I remember, no, then it would be called like Francis Saint International Airport or something like that. All right. The driveway to the next island, which is open for some reason, is at the absolute north end. So I gotta get there. Much better car. Okay, yeah, here's the entrance to, uh, hold on. Let me read that sign. Okay, you are now leaving Staten Island, this exit to Shoreside Vale or Portland Island. So now I need to go to Shoreside Vale and come out in Francis International Airport. Alright, I could drive like this, but it's really risky. And plus, it's also unreliable because for some reason you can't turn when you're going back when you have this camera like for some reason like the left and right keys just don't work for some reason it's only like accelerate or brake which is weird because it's like now useless to turn left or right so yeah turn left and there, there's supposed to be like a wall here blocking you but it's just not there i take it that it comes up once you actually get blocked but it seems strange because this seems like this seems like it would be more complicated to program instead of just always having the wall there until they fix the bridge mechanism. All right, a uh, side effect of being able to move through all these islands is I can actually check whether or not this save is subject to the red nines glitch. So there is a glitch that stopped me twice from getting 100% in this game. And that's a glitch where these guys on the right, who are in red jack partially red jackets, uh, don't appear, and you need them to appear for one of the side missions. But thankfully, they're here. But that's because this is the uh, this is right over a new save. Okay, pack your seven here, we get the AK-47. Which is... Eh, not that great of a weapon, but it's good. Okay, well, here's a hidden package where I have, kind of have to get ahead of myself on another collect-a-thon I'm gonna have to do. And that is unique jumps. In order to get this uh, hidden package here, I have to pull off this unique jump. And any, you'll be able to recognize a unique jump by just this uh, sort of thing where, oh my god, I completely missed the jump. Fuck. 
God damn it. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you make it far enough in those jumps, uh, you c you should be you'll get like a bonus award, and you in order to get 100%, you have to be able to execute the unique jump. And uh, <coughs> in pr basically the exact same way they want you to. That is like, oh, get perfect distance. You went to this in this direction. Um, it, it's kind of like gaps in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. If uh, if uh, if I can compare it to anything, this is a much better car for this. I see if I can make it this time. Oh my god, no, I think I'm off. No! Oh my god. The worst possible way to run into a cop. Holy crap. But anyway, hopefully I don't get stopped by the police. Or not, not stopped by the police. Uh, if I, I don't get busted by the police. Let's see if I get the angle right this time. Alright. Turn the board cover and fit. Did I make it? Yeah. No! God fucking death! Son of a bitch! I needed to land into that fenced off area. God damn. All right. Come on. Don't overshoot. Woo! So I got the unique stunt bonus, which it seems to be for landing on this patch of ground. So I take it that it's just been tagged with just like, okay, here's an end point. But anyway, there's the hidden package I've been trying to get the whole time. And simple way out. God fucking damn it. No! Shit! Okay, in attempting to get a cartel cruiser, I died because I, I because the fucking, uh, because the mother, because the Colombian gang members, they just shoot at you instantly. So I ended up killing two of them. And then I ended up pissing off a police officer who I then killed, so I got two stars. They chased me, and they fucking rammed me off a road and caused me to both drown and die of explosion. Which, ha that happening at the same time was quite remarkable, actually. But now, I've got to get all the way back to the third island. Repeat this whole shtick. Wait, hold on. Might as well get a bit of a head start on another mission. Because this is a somewhat rare car. Okay, I'm here at the docks and here they have a side quest game of find car, bring it here. Oh, by the way, yeah, not all the music I have is classical. Delivered like a pro. So here is a list of cars that I'm eventually going to have to bring. Flatbed is normally not available until pretty late. Well, it's not, like, not available. It's that it's kind of difficult to come across. 
Uh, there are three car collection quests. I'll get to that in a later part. But basically, you look for cars, you deliver them there, and once you do that, they're available to get at any point. An unlimited amount of them for a random cost. I'm sure the sniper rifle was a really good weapon. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure it was by my memory uh, that it was a pretty good weapon in the PS2 version, but I'm almost certain that it's gonna be really, really marginalized in its use thanks to uh, the fact that I actually have a... F There's something like uh, a weird issue with the aiming in this game uh, in that uh, if you... There's a lot of people complain online that the, the reticule is like or when you shoot, it shoots like a little bit above and to the right. Uh, I, I actually got a mod that fixed that, so yeah. Press a bit on the marginalized side. M16 is the best weapon in the entire game. In fact, actually, when you get six stars, this is the this is the weapon that the uh, military get when they come after, or military use when they come after you. You fucking die in an instant. Its fire rate is the mo is maybe the most insane I've ever seen. And goddamn, you just die when you when you get hit by that. Okay, so now I'm at 98 hidden packages. There's only two packages that I'm missing. I'll tell you exactly where they are. One of them is floating about, uh, at the stopped bridge between this island and the second island. And the other is on, an off, is on just a little island between the second island and the first island. So, how can I get on to the suspended bridge because the entire reason the third island is supposed to be locked is that the bridge between the second island and the third island is 
just it just remains suspended. Well, that's where this little buddy comes in. Do I know how to fly the Dota well? No. But this sure will be a learning process. Well, that was a short learning process. Ah! Oh my god, I have to return to Portland, don't I? God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it, I didn't realize Dodo Up and Dodo Down have their own fucking keys. You will have no fucking idea. Actually, I'm dead to something like saying it. How long it took me to fly this plane up here. I. So now, I gotta get this somehow. I know I can get it, I just forgot how. But, I ain't getting off this thing until I get up there somehow. So yeah, another while till that. Fucking sweet, man. Alright. Now that whole ordeal, it's time for one last... Geronimo! Yeah! Ah, oh, I miss. Alright, anyway, it's time to go and get the last hidden package. Alright, so now... To get the last hidden package... I'm just going to this... Uh, <clears throat> this, uh, apartment complex, which will actually become very, very important later on in the game, and... Oh shit, it's the other side. Alright, and now that we're on the other side, we can just take this boat. Unfortunately, boats... Actually, I don't, I, I don't think if it's like all boats, but this boat... What the fuck?! 
Oh my god, so I must have missed that. So it wasn't just on the other side, there was also a boat on that side. But anyway, there's one hidden package on some waters. It's gonna be a while for me to get there. That is the weirdest looking rainbow, it just looks like fucking colors straight up. Oh, uh, maybe it's the freaking. Wait a minute, it's inland. So perhaps that's the rainbow bridge to Asgard. Ah, fuck! We went on the wrong end of the island. Jesus Christ. I gotta turn around now. Alright. The final hidden package. Whoa, I can't see. Alright. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot that you can't actually walk on a couple of these rocks. Jesus Christ, did we just see his face from inside his body? I think... We all need to forget what we saw there. I mean, we already went through the... We already went out of... We already... Had to devote ourselves to the gods in order to cross the river. Perhaps... Uh, Claude has a lot more problems than we think he does. Okay... Ah, shit! Finally! So that's our final reward, the rocket launcher, which all things considered is actually probably not the best of them. I mean, granted, it is a good weapon, it's just that you're kind of likely to blow yourself up with that. The M16 is probably the best weapon of all of them that you get, and the most helpful item, at least in my experience, uh, of all the items you get from getting hit packages, tends to be the body armor. But anyway, guys, that's it for the hidden packages. Join me next time when I actually continue some missions. Uh, I believe... Alright. So that was a bit of a... <clears throat> a side... Uh, yeah, not, not a... Uh, I don't want to say side quest thingy. Uh, that was a bit... Yeah, it's pretty much a side quest. But anyway, join me next time when I want to start looking for cars and working for Luigi. See you guys then. Oh, shit. Hold on. I just picked up one of the cars I need for the garage. Okay, now that I've dropped off this car into this lot, now see you guys then.